Today is a real treat. We started off the road trip with two Porsches, the GT4 and the 718 Spider. And now Mr. Patrick himself has took it upon himself to join us for a few days in his E63S. Now we're currently here at Mad Lane, Welt Premier. These are the guys who do all the crazy bagged supercars. And you can see hiding around the corner is the sick 935 that they built that was debuted at the Tokyo Auto Salon earlier this year. So without further ado, let's hop inside and see what's going on over here. As we enter through this amazing facility here, we are greeted with the Mad Lane reception desk over here. And there is a black Lamborghini Countach stanced out. Looks like they're taking the cover, the engine cover off of this 935 though that was debuted at the Tokyo Auto Salon. Look how low it is too. And look at the um the doors over here. Watch this. That is insane. Wait, ooh. Ooh. It's based off a Porsche 964. And the only way you can really tell is by the roof. Everything else has been custom built. It's on the BBSs, completely lowered. This thing is absolutely mental. This is what he calls his masterpiece, the 935 ML. And my goodness, what a masterpiece it is. Look at the front, side, and the rear. This thing looks absolutely mean out in this courtyard at the Mad Lane headquarters. Now I mentioned seeing this car at a car show or at a convention center kind of detracts from the car. You have crowds, a lot of noise, there's a lot of red tape and there's a lot of baloney going on. But seeing the car here out in the open at his headquarters is truly something else. As we enter the Mad Lane reception area, we are greeted by a 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach with a very, very interesting kit on it. And you're probably wondering, it looks stock, it looks normal, but let me tell you, it is not. So the front lip right over here has been extended ever so slightly and it's got two sets of rims. They're both from two different race cars and these center locks right over here are completely custom. Side skirt has been included and this part right here has been widened just ever so slightly. A little nip and tuck, so to speak. Very, very subtle design cues. And of course the exhaust pipes, massive, massive exhaust pipes. But overall, the rest of the car is pretty much stock, especially the engine that has not been touched. But just these small design cues and small design changes make this thing look absolutely menacing. Black on black, 25th anniversary Countach, customized by none other than Madlane. Over here in the corner is a custom built engine that he's made for himself as a decorative piece. It looks vintage, but it is not. And we got the race car wheels on the wall. So we go from the Magilus with the Lamborghini Countach, with the BBSs on the wall, the posters, the artwork, and the engine on display. We walk on over here, right around the corner, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, come on. This setup here is absolutely gorgeous. It's super modern, super sleek, and we got the Testarossa bagged, slammed, and looking mighty fine, like a dime. Got the viewing area over here. We got the shooters out there, the 935. And my goodness, there is also a bunch of roses in the back for the ladies. That's right. We're currently out here in the countryside next to a JR train factory. But more importantly, we're here to see the Dome Factory and Museum. The all three cars line up over there. It's a little chilly. So without further ado, hello train, goodbye train. We're hopping inside because it's a little windy. Now, there's two special cars I want to show you guys. Well, without further ado, let's pop this open. We have a Alex Penfold in the way, and Aaron Chun, and a Patrick. Hello. Right over here, we have the Dome Zero prototype. But more importantly, I was not expecting to see this, the Caspita Giotto. Probably mispronouncing that. Now, this is an interesting car. One of two, it's the Mark II variant. It's got the V10 engine, 585 horsepower, zero to 60 in 3.5, was it 3.6 seconds. Take a look at the rear here. It's got an electronically retractable rear spoiler. Caspita in Italian means, whoa. And that is the reason why it's named as such. What happened was in the 90s, there was the Japanese bubble crisis. And a lot of these niche hypercars and supercars kind of fell out of favor because let's put it this way. 
money was a little tight and the economy essentially crashed. Shupon, the Caspita Giotto, and I believe the Yamaha supercar that we saw a few years ago, essentially they didn't go out of business, but there's just no demand left. There's no money. Things tighten up, and unfortunately, they never produce these. Dome Zero Supercar over here that was in the Gran Turismo game, wedge-shaped, inspired by the Countach, and the Countach was also designed by Gandini himself, the master of the wedge-shaped design, who unfortunately passed away as of late. So, very rare prototypes here at the Dome Museum. And that's all we got. Um, you tell me, what is that? Well, here we are at another undisclosed location here in the countryside of Japan. Not quite sure what to really say, but it seems to be a graveyard or a warehouse or storage of some sorts of a lot of memorabilia, a bars, Mini Coopers. Um, I really don't know. A lot of K cars, replica cars, Lotus, Europa, Alpine, and a bald eagle. We also didn't realize there's another lot across the street with a bunch of like, I don't even know what these are. Look at these. What in the world? We didn't realize there's this entire other lot full of stuff. Golf carts, old Benzes, VW Beetles, Mini Coopers. A literal graveyard. That is insane. Got an old Volvo chassis over here. I don't know what that is. A bunch of old cars in the back there too. Forklift. Look, there's like old digital equipment inside each of these cars. A moke. A boo-boo. We're currently here at a loss of words as to what we're looking at. It doesn't look abandoned. A what? There's a plane over here. MG grill, bicycles, um, Augusta MV parts. There's a mini like Enzo thing up there. Um, here, let me put my, let's put this right against the window here. It's hard to really capture what is here. I'm wondering how he got this King Tut though, holding this crystal ball. It's got like some sort of um, electronic pad. Look at that, you see that? What in the incredible stuff here. Hold on, let's put this against the window as such. A lot of articles online claim this place is abandoned. I don't think that's the case. It's also very windy, so I do apologize for the noise or the sound quality, but we think this place is obviously either, you know, change ownership, the new owner is just a hoarder and just collecting things and just using this as a storage facility. Look at these wheels over here. Walled wheels, no way. Look, he's got all the brands up there. Lotus, Ferrari, Benz, Porsche. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to say here. Um, a lot of the articles imply this place is abandoned, but I don't think so. It looks like someone has been collecting a lot of stuff, to put it nicely, and just been using this as a storage facility. Who knows what is even inside there? We do not dare to go inside because it is neither our property, but... Yeah, look at all the stuff upstairs. There's an Isetta. And the crazy part is, hold on, right over here, there's more, and there's another building attached. Who knows what's inside? We made our way back to Mount Fuji, just got a car wash for around 6,800 yen for each car. This is the cleanest this GT4 has ever been in many, many months. Many, many months. Look at this. It's shining. It's so shiny. Now let's take, oh. Let's take a look in the interior. Hold on now. Let's, uh, oh my lord, oh my now. Look at that. Wow, not a speck of dust. We literally made it to the end of the road trip and now 
of all places we're getting pulled over now. We made it 7,000 kilometers all across the southern part of Japan. We were about to put the car away for storage and at the last minute before it struck midnight the police have decided to pull us over. I'm not quite sure where we're going though. Oh, we're going to Lawson. Yes. Well, this is going to be interesting. Mm. Oh, there's Ken right there. <laughs> I've just done a road trip. And I'm dropping the car off for storage. Okay, all is well. This is quite possibly the worst outro to any video, but we're here at Haneda Airport, dropped off VIP by Ken Saito's new LX. Goodbye and arigato. You're under arrest. Alex, you're, you're under arrest.